get tabs for this lesson and any of the other stuff you see me play on YouTube by going to my website, www.erichaugenguitar.com. And uh, yeah, you can find all sorts of stuff there. Let us talk about what sound settings and equipment I'm using. This is, uh, I believe, a 98 or 2000 USA GNL ASAT Classic. Um, stock pickups, they're the MFD pickups. They are ceramic magnets. I really like these pickups. They're very loud and clear without being buzzy. And let's see, I'm going into my board. I'm using my Strymon Deco just a very little bit on the, the saturation slash compression setting. Um, and then using my Strymon Flint for some reverb. Going into my old Silvertone 1484. Today I mic'd up the uh, left speaker, which is actually pulled from a Mesa Boogie Studio 22, so it's whatever speaker that was. Sounds okay. Okay, so this is quite a tricky little fingerstyle guitar thing. Uh, this is Curtis Mayfield's little instrumental from the Superfly soundtrack. Um, and first things first, you know, Curtis Mayfield is famous for having a, a strange tuning, an open F sharp major tuning. Um, I tried to transcribe the song in that tuning, but there's no way. There's no way that this song was that tuning because there's an open E minor in it. Um, so I, I'm quite sure that it has to be standard, even though that doesn't apparently go along with the mythology of Curtis Mayfield. What a great guy. Okay, so our essential chord progression is a D. Now he is not doing the happy pretty D up there. This is a good D to know if you don't know. It's like a C that got moved up and then sort of a barred version. Five, four, uh, two, three. I am using my fingers. Other neat thing about this song is in nine, eight time. Not six, eight, not three, four. Well, you could think it was three, four, but I think of it as nine, eight because it goes one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Very interesting time signature. I, I've seen some people play it on YouTube or covers where they pushed it over into 12-8. And not quite the same. So we got it, this cool D chord, and the pattern is a pinch. So it's a pinch, two, three, one, two, three, pinch, two, three. That's kind of your default pattern. He does kind of change it throughout, but yeah. Can we see that? Pinch, two, three. So let's see, that opening is going to be a... And that last beat, he does pull that pinky off to create a D over A. Then we're just going to go to a B7, 2, 4, 2, 4. Pinch, 2, 3. To an E minor up here, just twos and zeros. Then kind of rake them. It's a little 0-2-3 on top, all the way up to a B minor 7 up here at the 7th fret, which is just flat across the 7s, and then he does this Curtis Mayfield fill. Coolest thing there ever was. So on that B minor 7, he grabs it, then he does a fill on it which is, you hear Jimi Hendrix do this, you hear Nile Rodgers do this, you hear John Frusciante, John Mayer, anybody who's kind of R&B influenced. I don't know if even you can credit Curtis Mayfield with this, but people often do. I'm gonna hammer on to that nine on that D string, and then with my, with my little pinky. That's, you hear that everywhere, so hammer on, twiddly do. Hendrix did that so much. Now what makes this song crazy is immediately on the next downbeat, that crazy run that's really for an E minor, which took me forever to find. Um, so what that is, is so you immediately come from this B minor 7, so that's 5 and 7. And then immediately, uh, that's on the B string, then you're pulling off from 7 to 4 uh, on, the, on the G, and then uh, 7 to 5. And 
that was another lick there was like there's no way that's an open F sharp tuning there's no way to play that lick in that tuning and so when he lands that he comes back up and kind of you know does a little arpeggio it's just the zeros up top and then very 70s chord. This is a G here, you know, 5, 4, 3, you know, it's part of that chord. But then against an A as the bass note, you hear this, I mean, it's just so. I, I, I love that sound. It's, it's a you know, very 70s R&B soft rock chord. And kind of that same pattern. And then he's going to throw a C at it, still with that A in the bass, 5, 5, 5, and back to your D. So that's the A section. It's going to repeat all that again. Here it goes. Second time through, because it's going to go to the B section of the song, you don't have to do the little switch. You just. Then he goes to a big. I'd call this. I'm not sure what I'd call it. Um, I gotta remember what the bass player is doing against that chord. It's either a, I think it's a big G sus. Maybe. It could be a D sus. I think it's actually, yeah, I think the bass player is actually playing a D against it. I could be wrong. I'll have to listen again. Probably playing a G against it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put a caption. It's a this. Okay. That big stretch is um, pinky on the seven of the D middle on the five of the G, pointer on the three and three of the, the B and the E. And again, that same pinchy pattern. And then this, this part of a G chord here. Again, here's a G bar chord. Here's just the upper three with an open D as the bass note. So again. out the last three beats to again do a by the way that's the same as this if I listened real close I got my amazing slow downer app and I, I like you know listen to it note by note I'm pretty sure that it goes down that he does it down here because I heard opens in there so coming from there So that, that B minor 7 fill, 2, 5, 2, 3, 4, makes sense. There's a B minor chord. Again, always with these things, try and understand what chord they're relating to, because that's how later on you can recycle it for your own purposes. And then here's our E minor. So same simple E minor 2 O, oh, and then that fill now is... That's a lot easier in the open position. So it's O two O, three O two O. Does a little kind of arpeggiation and then back to the and then kind of back to that cadence. Yeah, I've always. I mean, Curtis Mayfield Superfly is one of is up there for me in terms of like funk and soul stuff. I really like that that record a whole lot. And especially I, I always like that little guitar piece. I think it's yeah, it's it's it says something. Well I hope that is interesting and helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching.